Agriculture today needs to be even more sustainable than it has been. One of the major challenges is to feed the growing population in a sustainable fashion. We need changes, we need innovations, and we believe that with science we can. If we look at the ecological problems, the climate change problems, this is considerable. Greenhouse gas emissions, water scarcity, environmental pollutions, all of that. Climate change problem in return feeds into the food production issue. So it's basically a vicious circle that we need to break through innovation. That vicious circle ever so more affects smallholder farmers who have less capacity to adapt to this changing climate and are disproportionately affected. So it is down to us to come in with innovations to make sustainable agriculture viable and affordable for everybody in need. The vision for the Crop Science Centre is to make use of discovery science focused on developing sustainable solutions for agriculture and provide a visible vehicle for that discovery science to get out into the field and to impact farmers around the world. As scientists, we like to turn to solutions nature actually has invented, so that makes ultimately the approach sustainable. So some of the biggest challenges smallholder farmers face when it comes to managing pests and diseases are having the tools and also the knowledge to effectively control them. More often than not, some of the best management strategies are using chemical controls, which are not sustainable environmentally and also to human health more so. My team, we work on studying the plant immune system. So just like you and I, plants have a very sophisticated immune system. And we study to understand how this immune system functions. So if we can enhance this natural immune system to be more effective at combating these different pathogens and pests. At the Crop Science Centre, we're working with beneficial soil microbes that help the plants to get nutrients beyond the reach that they can already do. These are natural biofertilizers, but we need to enhance them in agriculture to make crop nutrition more sustainable. Soil microbes like Arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi live within the plant roots and they help the plant to extend the network into the soil to gain nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen that are essential for their growth. Photosynthesis is so important because it's the process which is fundamental to all of crop growth. However, it's far from operating at its theoretical maximum. It's a labyrinth of different molecular processes moving up to the canopy level. And we're one of many research institutes across the globe who are contributing to an effort to try and improve photosynthesis in crops. So at Waki, we are integrating genomic tools because we want to make our breeding faster. So breeding is a game of precision. The more precise you can predict the performance of a crop, the more successful it will be. And these tools are ways of making breeding more efficient by increasing precision and making it faster. We use that to make breeding shorter and make sure that the farmers that need the technology get it faster because Climate change is happening at a pace where if breeding is not fast, it cannot catch up with it. And science needs to be at pace with it. Partnerships are absolutely key at achieving a more sustainable agriculture for addressing sustainable food production. Our role here in Cambridge is to work together with these partners in the Global South to respond to their needs, to tailor what we can do to their needs in the respective regions. Uh, we're largely molecular scientists and we don't always work in the countries that the crops are grown in and these local partnerships are essential for translating our quite clean science into the field. The partnership between the Crop Science Centre and WACI is a powerful way of making sure that discovery science reach farmers who are the ones that need it. So it's like a partnership where one has a solution and then there are farmers in Africa that need it, so it creates that bridge. Our partnership 
the, the Crop Science Center is a powerful example of how global science can meet local needs. Together, we are working to develop cowpea varieties that can thrive under heat and drought tolerance threats, conditions that our farmers in northern Nigeria and in the Sahel region experience every season. We are rebuilding the genetic cowpea resources in the country. Somalia is a country which suffered decades of civil war, impacts of climate change, and is facing enormous food security crisis. This project aims to rebuild the genetic resources for cowpea, which can then be used to lay the foundations for cowpea genetic improvement in the country. Farmers know their soil, their season and their community better than anyone else. When we call solution, we are not just transferring technology, but we are building resilience. The real impact goes beyond the field. It is about building confidence, trust, and scientific capacity in African agricultural systems. Initiatives like our Crop Science Center are really core to our sustainability goals at Cambridge and our need to connect with international priorities such as at COP30. But we can bring our own world-class research to bear in those conversations. Partnerships are essential for translating our research at the Crop Science Center into farmers' fields. We need those local partners who are on the ground with the farmers to help us to think about how the science is going to be relevant in the field. Developing research in partnership with the end users, which in this case are the farmers. So it means that before you start your research, you need to engage the end users. So science has to start with farmers and end with the farmer. We can't keep growing crops how we were because it's negatively affecting the environment. We're hoping to use sustainable crop nutrition to help farmers to have an economic and long-term sustainable solution for fertilizing their plants. Science and Partnership really lies at the heart of the mission of the COP Science Centre. When we think about advancing our knowledge that eventually is directly relevant for making a difference in the field. Partnerships are essential for translating our lab-based science into the hands of farmers. We need to understand the local issues and create solutions together and we can't do that without understanding every piece of the puzzle. Ultimately, we want to create a world where farming is uh, profitable, dignified, and resilient, and where science truly serves the people who feed us all. Partnerships are how we turn ideas into impact, how we make science not just excellent, but meaningful. <laughs>